I am a big proponent of use your shit. What does that mean? Actually use your shit. Use your Swiss Army knife from 1993. Use your old Griptilian. And when you finally decide to break down and make it one of your own, use your Bob Dozer. K something or other. I forget. D2 steel. Finally decided to make it one of mine. The first thing you do when you decide to make it yours is put a really good edge on it. I love D2 and I really love the way Bob Dozer heat treats it. So here's my D2 Bob Dozer heat treated stag handle user now. What kept me from wanting to use it for a long time was it came with the horizontal sheath. That's a pretty cool concept, but I'm not a huge fan of it. So what I've been doing for the last few years with my horizontal sheaths is modifying them. And I'm just going to show it to you. I don't, I don't have any video of me actually making one, but this used to be this way with a clip on the back and it sat on the front of your belt. Now with some creative cutting, drilling of these out to put different hardware in and put new holes, I have a vertical sheath. And it's relatively thin kydex, so it's easy to work with and pops in beautifully. So, that is not a lot of knife to have on your hip. I love this one. I waited a long time to find one that had nicely configured stag, even stag on both sides, which is tough to find with any maker. I'm not slamming anybody. And I just didn't have the heart to sell this one so welcome to the belt welcome to the rotation welcome to the family and just hit me the scriptilian which is my i have two thumb stud knives this and the 940 this has d2 just like this so now that i showed you the dozer 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 Bob Dozer. I'm going with that. Just so you know I'm not blowing smoke up your ass. Here's my Randall 55 Compass Angier edition. He was a very popular naturalist writer back in the day. What's different about this one? I've done videos. There's my shortened guard. and a sheath from another knife from another maker. I do light batoning and feather sticking. I actually posted a picture of some feather sticks that I made with this knife on Instagram. But you can see, blade scuffed. This is a stainless version. Holds an edge better than the carbon version. But I kept this one because it was incredibly thick stock and ground incredibly thick all the way through edge. I really had to lay it back for an edge, but now it keeps an edge and actually cuts things. Generous handle, good geometry, great user. Use your stuff, man. Otherwise, someday you're going to be dead and go, damn, I never got to use that. I get the impression that some of you guys might think I'm full of shit, but I actually do use my stuff. I'm not going to destroy my stuff, well, except for the one incident, but I use my stuff. That's what it's there for. I don't want a grandchild to have fun with it. I don't want to have fun with it.
It's not gonna hurt anything. Wouldn't go much thicker though. Now I can go make some more feather sticks. Whee! Come on, Artie. That's a wrap. See you next time. Thanks for watching. Arrivederci.